Oh, hi! Welcome! Do you want to come in? Yeah, it's always something. But I do appreciate you guys being here today and uh, joining me because uh, if I had to do this alone, I'd probably go nuts. So thank you. If you're a subscriber, thank you very, very much. Uh, if you're a Patreon patron, you know who you are. I know who you are. You guys are awesome. Thank you for contributing. Uh, if you've uh, just stopped by today, figured, what the heck? I saw the thumbnail and it wasn't that interesting, but I thought I'd check it out. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you stick around for a little bit. Click that subscribe button, would you? All right, and give me likes and thumbs ups and make comments, all that kind of stuff. Keep the comments clean or I'll have to boot you. Yeah, so um, I'm going to take you outside and show you this. Um, a few weeks ago, or a number of episodes ago, the guys over at Flex Seal, they sent me um, some Flex Spray to try out. And so we tested it out on a watering pan. I use this as a watering pan um, on a previous one, and it worked great. Uh, the watering pan had uh, developed some holes in it, and uh, I sprayed the back and I sprayed the front and it works great and it's still working today so no problems with these guys if you're interested in picking up any of this stuff no they didn't pay me to do this uh, this is not a commercial it's not sponsored by them um, but my affiliate link down below does give me a little bit of a kickback if you decide you wanted to purchase some of this stuff so I would greatly appreciate it if you'd use my links thank you anyway uh, this one the previous one um, is now, or the one I had been using up until I put the Flex Seal one in, has developed some holes. I'm gonna take you outside. I wanna show you what I'm gonna to do to this before I put Flex Seal on it. And uh, hopefully, <coughs> I may not even need to put Flex Seal on it. I can save it for some other stuff. But uh, I marked where the holes are. Let's go outside, I'll show you. In the meantime, check this out. Use our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. I set up a little state workstation work area right here where uh, I'm going to put the pan and I'm going to roll in some footage here. You can see where light is shining through. There's quite a few, but I, uh, I, I also marked it with a little X you know, with uh, Sharpie. There's, so there's five holes. And if you look inside, I marked them too, but there's there's probably gonna be more happening. Oh, hey, there's one here that I didn't mark. I better mark that. It's marked. So what I'm gonna do is uh, get my torch, my silver solder, the lead-free flux, heat this baby up and seal those holes up. And then um, after that, then I'll treat it with Flex Seal, and then it shouldn't uh, rust through anymore. Let me bring you on down. Uh, the reason why I'm using lead-free is because it's for drinking water. The last thing I want to do is put lead solder in something that I'm going to feed my chickens and lead poison them. And then uh, it's just going to be, you know, the old burns matic with a propane thing on it. That should do well. All right, let's treat this each of the spots where there's a hole. This is just like getting copper ready, you know, copper plumbing ready. Very similar. Where's the other hole? I've got an other one. And if I do this right, the, uh, the solder will go into the hole and then kind of mushroom on the other side and seal that hole up just fine. You know what? I better get some clothes. Okay. Miserable. All right, shooting kids. Help me out. What's up, guys? Is uh, it takes two people. Do you see the hole? 
Is that it? Yep. We just got uh, five or six, four, whatever more holes. Look at, look at the chemical reaction that's going on there. Hmm. All right, we'll be back. We just got a few more holes to do and I'll show you what happens. Okay, after uh, Filling a few of the holes successfully, um, there were some weakened spots on this pan, and the um, the heat was causing it to break down. So where I didn't have holes, they were developing holes. So it was almost like I, I fill one and I make two, and um, it worked. Uh, but I'm just going to go to the Flex Seal solution and. Um, go over it now because I, I need this pan. <laughs> all right let's let it dry. all righty I'm gonna spray the back of this. call it good. sometimes uh, the easier solution may be the better solution. Well, I learned a lesson today, and that is sometimes traditional methods work just fine. But there's a reason why we always try to find new and alternative methods. Um, it's because sometimes the newer ones can work better. And in the case of Flex Seal on my pan here, um, it worked better. You know, if it can fix a transmission, it can fix a water pan. I would have been uh, chasing holes all day long because I had some corrosion going on. And like I said before, every time I'd heat up one spot, it would weaken another and I'd end up with a couple of spots again. So um, I gave up, said, I'm gonna go to a more uh, um, current method and that's using flex seal seal both sides now I'm gonna leave them leave this thing outside because uh, it's got a bit of an odor you know the uh, the aerosol and the distillants and it's kind of a rubbery smell and all of that um, I want that to disperse and dry up before I bring it into the tool shed otherwise um, it's gonna stink in there so uh, be sure to use this in a well ventilated area or outdoors that's what I did and uh, you should be good. I'm going to leave a link below where you can pick yourself up some, some Flex Seal in case you uh, have a problem like this or something where you just need to seal things off um, and do it quickly. Now it is going to take about 48 hours for this to thoroughly cure so in this particular case um, if you needed it right away I would say Flex Tape would work and I've used that on a bucket recently and it worked great where we had a bullet hole through the bucket. I wonder how we got a bullet hole in the bucket. Chest protection but I sealed it up with flex tape and held water perfectly fine. But uh, this is going to be, I think, a little longer lasting and it's coated on both sides. It'll be fine and I'll put it back into use uh, if the other one should ever give out. That's it, folks. I love you. Thank you. Have yourself a good day. We'll uh, be back again next time for some other exciting adventure around the TSG compound. And I'd love, to, I'd love for you to, to join me if you would. So don't forget to subscribe. All right? God bless you, God bless America, and may America bless God. What do you think, dude? Yeah, pretty good?